The Mobile County Sheriff says he is fed up with the Pritchard Police Department's track record of catching criminals. As WKRG News 5's Asher Red tells us, the Sheriff's Office says they're having to pick up the Police Department's slack. The Pritchard Police Department has a handful of suspects across various crimes they hope to bring in for questioning, but there's one problem. Hardly any arrests have been made. That's why the Mobile County Sheriff's Office plans to take matters into their own hands, but that also poses a problem for them. Overtime. There are probably too many unsolved cases for me to name, but I'll say there are three or four that we are looking at. Mobile County Sheriff Paul Burge says fighting crime is not cheap, let alone when his office has to pick up the slack left behind by the Pritchard Police Department. How does that affect overtime? It affects it significantly. Law enforcement's not an eight to five Monday through Friday job, and, and, and I'm sure the community don't want it to be that way. Bird says his deputies have been working around the clock to reel in some of Pritchard's most violent criminals. You know, there are these unexpected, you know, issues that arise that the only way you can deal with it is pay, pay overtime to, to have the personnel do it. Last June, the sheriff's office conducted a large scale operation to target high crime areas within the city of Pritchard. They got guns, drugs and violent offenders off the streets, but Birch says their job didn't stop there. Since then, the sheriff's office continues to return to Pritchard on a much smaller scale, spending even more time and money. This is not a case where what happens in Pritchard stays in Pritchard. This is not just about Pritchard. It's about violent criminals who should, who should have been in jail. And that was Asher Red reporting. Now, in an exclusive interview with WKRG, Pritchard Police Chief Walter Knight says the district attorney's office requires a higher level of probable cause with PPD in order to get a warrant signed. He says that in many cases, the sheriff's office is able to obtain a warrant before Pritchard Police due to what he calls extra hurdles. The sheriff's department had already put out that they were looking for them and that they signed warrants on them. Even though my officers, my detectives, did all the legwork, they, they got the video, they found out what his name was, they put him on the news, and basically they was preparing to jump over hurdles that the DA's office normally would give us. Evidently, the hurdles that we have to jump over, the sheriff's department don't have to jump over. Knight says the officer working the case that sparked this rebuttal, the robbery at the T&J Food Mart, failed to sign the warrants in a timely manner. He said that the officer, who has been in the force for about a year, was a couple of days too late in signing that warrant. Now, overtime pay has been an issue for the Mobile County Sheriff's Office in recent years. As we reported in a News 5 investigation last year, the sheriff, Sheriff's Office paid more than $6 million in overtime pay in 2022. That year, 18 employees logged more than 1,000 overtime hours, averaging more than 20 hours of overtime per week for the entire year. Those extra hours for those 18 people alone added up to $1.3 million in overtime pay. In November, the sheriff told us that the department was using a new payroll system that cut back on overtime considerably in 2023.